Guys, all I can say is it's a great day for DC Comics fans. Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and there's some amazing news for Arrow Season 5. Uh, just as if there wasn't enough amazing stuff to talk about and be in awe about today with the Justice League movie, it was confirmed that Madeline McLaughlin, who played Evelyn Sharp, or Evelyn Crawford on Arrow season four. She was she took up in uh, the, the Black Canary mantle for about one episode. Kind of walked off the show. She will be returning, reprising her role as Evelyn Sharp, um, and she will be becoming Artemis. Uh, yes, it's it's that kind of day. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So, for those of you guys who are not too familiar with Artemis, she is a vigilante type, Robin type, speedy type character who, uh, she's basically the Green Arrow sidekick, um, but she is really, she's been in the comics many times, but she's never been very big in the comics. Uh, where she really shined was in the Young Justice series, which I think everybody really loves. It's a shame it was canceled. The reason it was canceled was because of those goddamn toy sales, but hey, you know, what can I do? It's amazing they're bringing her on, and this is so exciting also because I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that she kind of forges a Roy Harper type identity. Um, you know, we, we know uh, Thea, she's kind of moving away from Team Arrow. We, we don't know where she'll be. Um, honestly, I, I think they had stronger intentions for the Speedy character in Season 4, and I... I don't know. I don't want to. I'm not bashing season four. I just in the, I'm not bashing the writers, but I just don't know if the writers really loved, and I don't know if the fans really loved the role that Speedy kind of played. I don't know. I they, they really wanted to kind of fill the gap in, in the part of Roy Harper, uh, which you know Roy Harper was obviously phenomenal. Colton Hayes uh, Haynes was definitely phenomenal. Phenomenal as uh, Roy Harper at uh, Arsenal. Um, so to see Speedy, I just don't know if it worked out the way they wanted it to. I don't. I mean, I think they they really spent a lot of time with the bloodlust. Uh, of course, I'd love to see Thea back as Speedy, but at the same time, I kind of miss that family dynamic is more you know than the teammate dynamic. So we knew this character was coming back. We knew uh, we, we knew Madeline McLaughlin will be would be coming back, but it was. Very unclear as to what capacity, what type of role she'd be in, um, but she's playing Artemis, and she, I mean, it's not gonna, we don't, it's not gonna be like the, the Artemis from Young Justice. It's not gonna be that exact character because she's not gonna go ahead and change her name to Artemis. Artemis will become a persona, very similar as to the Robin persona, um, and I, that's what I'm looking forward to. This is absolutely spectacular, as if we haven't gotten enough news from Arrow. We're, get, we, we're getting the Vigilante, who's a total badass. We're getting Wild Dog, who's a pretty awesome badass as well. And now we're getting Artemis. Those are three Vigilantes. And uh, apparently, Megalyn McLaughlin's Evelyn Sharp, she will be uh, coming and debuting, I, I guess, uh, for a second time, in the second episode of Season 5, and her arc... To becoming Artemis will be a uh, it'll be a span over a few episodes, and then she'll become Artemis. And uh, from what we're hearing, for a majority of the season, she will be a series regular. You know, I I don't know the story plot, um, but if this is indicating anything. I think you got to go back to Young Justice and what they did with the Young Justice character uh, characters. And, um, you know, it was a very fun story. I really loved what they did there. But especially with Artemis, you had uh, Cheshire. And uh, that was a big deal, which is her sister. So you have to wonder if they're going to bring her in. And I think the indication of Artemis, you can see Cheshire. Um, and maybe, maybe even Thea will become Cheshire. I know that was a rumor back in beginning of Season 3 before we knew uh, Thea would become Speedy. But the most, what I'm trying to get at here is that maybe Thea gets pissed off at Oliver for taking this new girl, this, you know, this new vigilante type speedy arsenal role, you know, taking her under, uh, take, hit, you know, having Oliver take her under his wing. Thea could get pissed at Oliver be, and try to kill Artemis, and then she could kind of just become a villain. 
which would also be pretty awesome, right? I think that'd be pretty awesome. Then you have, you know, Thea on the opposite equation, which could actually set up a really interesting role and thing for, you know, uh, Thea because of all of her inner demons, because of, um... Anarchy and her taking down anarchy and you know, there's just a lot of things Thea is already going down a dark path So it'd be pretty awesome that way But also the other big thing is that in the TV show and in the comics uh, The father of Artemis and Cheshire is Sportsmaster So Sportsmaster pretty big vigilante villain uh, You know, I, I've never been a big fan of the name Sportsmaster I, I don't know, I always just think of like a football or a basketball, but clearly, you know, yeah, you know, it's not meant to be exactly like that, but he is an interesting character, and also the dynamic of him being the father of the Green Arrow's, uh, you know, sidekick is a big deal, um, so you have to wonder, could Sportsmaster be the main villain of Season 5? And the thing about Sportsmaster, though, he always has been a bit more of a henchman, uh, along with Deathstroke. So I'm kind of wondering where they're going with this. You know, there's they're putting a lot of pieces in here, throwing a lot of pieces here, um, but they're not really showing us. Um, we know more about Arrow Season 5 than Flash Season 3. And if I'm being completely honest, I am super excited for Arrow. I, I mean, I'm so happy to say this. And, you know, you have to think about it. Even if the season isn't, like, as great as we all want it to be. Because I know, you know, everyone's losing hope on Arrow. I get it. I'm not. But let's say it's bad again. Which I don't think it will be. But if it is, you look at everything they're doing and you're like, huh, it was, it was cool. At least we could say it's cool. The other big thing about the introduction of Artemis is the idea and the concept of possibly introducing other Teen Titans or other Young Justice members. Now, Miss Martian would fit perfectly on Supergirl. Do I know if that's going to happen? Clearly, I don't. I'd love to see that happen because we've got Martian Manhunter and we've got Superman coming and you've got Supergirl. So maybe we could, you know, see some crossover there. Maybe we even see a Young Justice live action show. What if that happened? It probably won't. It won't. I'm just being hopeful here, but, you know, there's a lot of fun things that we can do. Also, we have seen Cord Industries. What if we get Ted Cord, a new character, and also we get Jaime Reyes? What? Yeah, what if we got Blue Beetles? Right? We could see something like that happen. Maybe there's a, you know, Legend of Tomorrow crossover. I'm not sure. It's a stretch, but... You know, there's so many Teen Titans and Young Justice members that I think would work really well on Arrow. Blue Beetle would probably be one of them. I'm also going to throw out the name Nightwing again. I think Nightwing would be awesome. Um, you know, you know Wally West in, in the Young Justice TV show had a really serious relationship with Artemis. Um, and they were teammates. Um, so, you've got Wally West on The Flash. Now you're getting a version of Artemis on Arrow. Could we see a romance in that crossover? Huh. Yeah, I know. It's exciting. There's so much there. Um, and I, I really hope they go with some of this stuff. Raven would also be really fun because you have Constantine, um, and you also have Vixen, and we've had Damien Dark, so you could do Raven. Uh, Beast Boy, nah, I'm not feeling Beast Boy for this. Starfire, not, also not feeling Starfire. Cyborg, yeah, they're doing them in the movies, so really, you know, it seems like the, the most, the clearest options for me would definitely be uh, a, a Wally West speedster kind of romance, Nightwing, uh, Blue Beetle. That's probably where I'd put it at, and I, I could, we could only hope for a Young Justice live-action show. And uh, you don't know if that's where they're going. That's probably not where they're going, because, you know, I think CW is like, holy shit, DC. We've got about four of your, sh your what is it, like five shows? Uh, if, you, if you're just looking at the DC Comics, not Vertigo TV shows, just the DC Comics shows, I think they have like four out of five of them. On the CW. CW's like, man, oh man, we want to have some room for our other new programs. And DC's like, well, dude, you know, we've got all these, got all these other shows you could do. And CW's like, hell no. So I think you got to either get rid of Legends after season two to do a Young Justice, um, you know, a live action show. 
Um, or you put it on a different network. You know, there was that Titans show over in development at TNT. And that's kind of the reasons why I feel like they could definitely set up some sort of Teen Titans or Young Justice uh, live action. Because it was in development at some point. So, you know, you just put two and two together. Let me know your thoughts on this. Are you excited? I am beyond excited. Um, also, just some quick Flash stuff. I just want to touch on some Flash here. Uh, it was just confirmed at the first episode by Grant Gustin. Grant Gustin, a.k.a. Barry Allen. He confirmed that the first episode of Flash Season 3 would be called Flashpoint. There's so much here. There's so much here. I'm so excited. If you guys have some requests for Arrow videos or you have some requests for Flash videos or Legends videos or Supergirl videos, just throw them down in the comments. Maybe even even some Gotham videos. Um, I, I'd be happy to do some of that. You know, the, the well is running dry for a lot of CW TV stuff as of right now until Comic-Con. So get pumped. Get ready. Um, and also, I don't know. Like this video if you want to see Oliver Queen have the long blonde locks and the long blonde beard. I would pay good money to see Stephen Amell grow out his hair and grow out his beard. I don't know about you guys. You can either like you you, you like the button if you want to see that. If you don't, hit the like button if you want to see that. If you don't, I, I don't care. If you just want to dislike it for fun, well, you can always do that too. I highly appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please remember to click your like and subscribe. Like I said about that like thing, you, you do what you want. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude and keep riding, guys. Bye. Bye.